today we will learn about excretion in the previous video we have learned that oxygen and nutrients are transported to every cell of the body with the help of transportation system with the help of these simple substances and oxygen metabolic reactions takes place in the cell which helps in energy generation and maintenance activities in the cell during these metabolic activities nitrogen containing waste material gets generated such substances are harmful to the body therefore it is necessary to throw them away from the body the process of excretion helps for this purpose a life process in which harmful metabolic waste get removed from the body is called excretion let us see how excretion occurs in different organisms in the cytoplasm of some unicellular organisms the waste such as carbon dioxide and ammonia gets collected into the contractile vacuole and are excreted outside the cell surface by the action of diffusion multicellular organisms have specific organs for excretion in plants during the process of photosynthesis waste materials oxygen and water get produced there is no photosynthesis at night so carbon dioxide is produced as a waste product these products are removed through stomata present in the leaves in the process of transpiration excess water is also removed by the stomata during night transpiration does not occur some waste products are stored in the cellular vacuoles of the bark of leaves and twigs which get detached from the plant some waste products are stored in old xylem in the form of resin and gum waste products like resin and gum are very useful to humans the roots of the plant remove some waste products into the surrounding soil through diffusion in humans excretion of waste material is done with the help of excretory system a pair of kidneys are located on the back side of the abdomen and on the both sides of the spinal cord with the help of which the nitrogenous waste urea and uric acid present in the human blood are separated by the process of filtration the kidney has a bunch of thin walled capillaries called a nephron it is the basic structural and functional unit of the kidney each kidney has many nephrons which are closely packed together the upper part of the nephron is cup shaped and it is called bowman's capsule renal artery brings the oxygenated blood into the kidneys it gets divided into capillaries and so the blood is transported to bowman's capsule the bowman's capsule has thin walls with a bunch of capillaries inside it called glomerulus since the walls of capillaries and bowman's capsule are thin so blood get filtered before entering into the bowman's capsule we call it initial filtrate in initial filtrate glucose salt amino acids enzymes hormones fats dead cells dead bacteria toxins medicines 
an abundant amount of water is present when the initial filtrate flows through the tubular portion of the nephron there is selective reabsorption of these materials the level of absorption depends on the need of water in the body the remaining liquid waste is called urine since the filtration works in the kidney is performed by the nephron therefore it is called the basic filtration unit each kidney is connected to the bladder by a long tube each tube is called a ureter it carries urine from the kidney to the bladder the bladder is a muscular organ in which urine is stored urinary bladder is under nervous control therefore the release of urine from the body is under human control when the bladder expands urine is carried out of the body by the urethra by the pressure of expanded bladder apart from this carbon dioxide is excreted by lungs and skin excretes water and salts due to any reason if the kidneys stop working then the action of excretion in the body does not happen properly due to which harmful waste starts accumulating in the body this increases the chance of death in such cases hemodialysis is used in which the blood is filtered with the help of machines and nitrogenous waste are removed from the body that is why we call dialysis as artificial kidney so today we have learned about excretion